Crickets are known for their iconic chirping noises, but not everybody knows that crickets will infest your home and stay hidden throughout winter. By spring, they'll emerge from hiding and take over your living spaces. In this video, we'll show you how to look for crickets inside your home, treat them, and how to prevent future infestations from happening again. If you'd like to shop the professional products in this video and learn even more about overwintering cricket control, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the links in the description below. Common crickets can vary in size depending on species, so they can range from 0.12 inches to 2 inches in length. Their bodies are typically flat and elongated, and they can range in color from yellowish brown to tan to dark brown. The hind legs are significantly larger and are used for jumping. You'll notice two large compound eyes on the head, although crickets actually have three more simple eyes that most people won't notice. If you're having trouble seeing past tight spaces, try waiting until nightfall and listen for chirping sounds coming from inside. Crickets will chirch more frequently the warmer it is, so maybe turn on your heater for more chirps to listen to. When inspecting your home exterior, look for entry points that crickets can use to get inside your home. Crickets can jump up to 3 feet high so they can use features like vents to gain access inside. They can also use openings found in walls, cracks in doors, any window frames they can access, openings around utility pipes, and weep holes close to the ground. Also, note any damaged or missing window screens. Indoors, you'll be looking for crickets themselves and any eggs. Males will chirp and attract nearby females. If both meet indoors, the female is likely to lay eggs where she thinks they'll be safe. Eggs can be difficult to spot as they're elongated and only about 2-3 to three millimeters in length. You can check behind and under large appliances that generate heat. Look underneath plumbing and behind electrical plates. Crickets will eat cotton, silk, and other fabrics, so check closets where fabrics may be stored, and examine furniture for chew marks. Finally, look in less frequented parts of your home, like your attic or basement, for spots hidden away in tight spaces. Before starting, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, especially when you handle any chemicals. Begin treatment with Reclaim IT. Reclaim IT is a liquid repellent insecticide concentrate that's labeled to control over 70 different pests and offers a residual of up to 90 days. The mix rate can vary for different pests, so always read the label for proper mix and usage rates. Since we're using Reclaim as a perimeter treatment, use one ounce of Reclaim per gallon of water per thousand square feet. With a pump sprayer, add the water, add Reclaim, shake the sprayer, and you're ready to start. Create a barrier around the structure of your home by spraying 3 feet up the structure and 3 feet out. Next, spray areas around windows, doors, eaves, air vents, plumbing, garage doors, light fixtures, basement or crawl space openings, and any other openings you may have found. Once you've treated your perimeter, start your indoor treatment with Pyrid. Pyrid is an insecticide aerosol that delivers a quick knockdown, but offers no residual. Use this to flush out clusters of pests you may have found. To apply Pyrid in broad areas like around windows, make sure the white applicator is attached, shake the can well, and spray in swift, sweeping motions. To apply Pyrid in tight cracks and crevices, use the provided red applicator tip. Simply remove the white applicator, replace it with the red, and make sure the straw is affixed in the spout. Shake the can well, spray, and move the applicator swiftly along the length of the crevice. Keep people and pets away from treated areas until dry and vapors have dispersed. Finally, round out your treatment with Defense Dust. Defense Dust is a ready-to-use insecticidal dust that's perfect for hard-to-reach areas. If left undisturbed, this dust can last up to 8 months. Use a handheld duster to apply Defense Dust under appliances, behind baseboards, wall voids, behind electrical plates, and in the attic. You can stop crickets from entering your home by keeping up with pesticide treatments and addressing the entry points you found during your inspection. Close up small entry points outside of your structure with copper mesh and caulk. Repair damaged screens and door seals. Trim back vegetation, including any overhanging branches from nearby trees. Finally, be sure to apply Reclaim IT every 90 days for guaranteed control. Crickets can easily take over homes, but you can control them yourself with these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn. We guarantee these products will help you get control of your overwintering cricket problem, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.